Ini 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 Hi, my name is Eric. I'm William. And uh, we're both freshmen who yeah. recently went on the October Build trip. I'm Gina. Hi, I'm Selena. Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Charles. We are JCQ! Habitat for Humanity is a Christian organization that started in 1976 in the United States with, with the goal of alleviating global poverty with the mission to build communities, hope, and homes. So for this build trip, we actually went down to Sichuan province in Shiyang village to help with a water project that would eventually, I think, help over 500 people um, and help over 146 families. All right, Selena. What did you do today? By Charlie. We built a... Don't run away. We, we often talk in HFH about, you know, solving this, this big issue of, of providing people with housing and ultimately ending, ending poverty is the, is the big idea. But we, we don't think of, like, the tangible steps that it takes to get to that process. And so, so I think in a building trip, you get to see how a little tiny bit of ending poverty really takes place from almost from start to finish. The Sichuan office in Habitat China saw potential to help with this project and what they did was they actually got funds from many uh, multiple sources including our school, including the Bank of America, including the local organization in Sichuan uh, and even the government to be able to dig two wells that were around 64 meters deep. And this well would, um, would allow the villagers to be able to pump out fresh, clean water um, from clean ground sources, which is really meaningful. And what we did for this project as ISB was the students who were able to go, um, we helped dig the well that, in which, uh, the storage tank in which the water from the well would be stored. And this was, um, according to the Sichuan office, the biggest project that has been undertaken in China for, uh, as of Habitat for Humanity. Today is day two. <laughs> I think the biggest takeaway for, for me, myself, is just to be grateful for everything that we have because we live in this, in such a bubble of a community that we never really see. All. We, we always hear about people living in poverty and people who don't have housing or food, but we never really see it firsthand. And that's what I think the build trip offers to many people. And to me, in fact, it just makes me appreciate the life that I have now, and how privileged I am to be given the opportunity to help these people. Hi, Jesse, what are you doing? <laughs> My biggest takeaway was just how much we could all do together because we got there and all it was was a pit and by the time we left with like everybody helping we ended up building a giant storage tank. I think that it was really influential how the money that we raised during the Brick Drive fundraiser was used directly into our building trip experience so it was really important to see how everyone really made a contribution towards our trip. This is actually our first building trip. Yeah, we're both freshmen. I mean, we've both seen like some of the uh, videos that like HFH have posted before. But yeah, and I've heard from my, my brother who has been on many um, boat trips in the past. However, actually going on a boat trip became like a, it was a whole different experience from what I expected. And it's probably something that I'll probably remember for the rest of my life.